City Bullies checking in. Uh, today I'm out here in the yard. Uh, we about to get some work done. Uh, I'm gonna put up like a play yard for the dogs, a little area for them to uh, come out and relax at. I'm gonna be outside during the daytime instead of them uh, just being cooped up in the house all day. I know it's gotten cold, um, so they've really been um, in the house for the most part. Um, so I'm gonna build a nice little area for them where they can, you know, come out here relax and be cool and do what dogs do um, i'm gonna put some like hay down or something so it's nice and warm i'm gonna put some uh, dog houses in um, i'm also gonna add a fence here i'll let you guys see um, here i've not really kind of started uh, the line of my fence i'm gonna kind of go along this way here and, and right here at the end of this uh porch so they have all of this space right here. And then I think I'm gonna put uh, like a deck right here in this area in the corner and build like a roof up here. And I'll have these dog houses right there. Or I might just put it over here. I haven't really uh, decided yet. But yeah, man, you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and finish uh, making my line here so that I know I'm putting the uh, the fence up uh, in a straight line and then I'm gonna get to it. Okay guys, so I got the first part done. I got my line set. Pretty much got me a straight line here. Going straight across. So next step will be um, putting my post down. So as you can see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven posts that I gotta put in. Um, I also gotta find out where I'm gonna put my gate at. Um, thinking I'll probably put it right here in between these two posts here. Um, if not, I'll put it right here. Uh, but I think right there will probably be the ideal spot for me. So, yeah, I'm going to keep uh, pushing this workout. Uh, I had to stop the camera earlier because the dogs knocked the tripod over. Um, they out here in the yard with me. Uh, this really for them. Um, Miss Nina, the fine girl, uh, she will most likely be going to her uh, forever home today, maybe tomorrow. Um, but this weekend for sure she should be going um, if they don't uh, chew this up in the next few minutes hey, 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 hey. you see her she like to chew they, they right in that, in that teething stage um, they'll be uh, 16 weeks on Monday yeah they'll be 16 weeks this girl's beautiful man um, you know this whole litter uh starting to turn out real real nice um, as you guys know uh, or as you guys can see it takes a while for um, the pups or the dogs that I've been producing to start to really look um, the way I want them to look I know they, they go through a lengthy stage especially uh, the, the standard size dogs um, they grow longer before they grow wide um, Oh, they just ran right through that. But um, I got the post down anyway, so it's, it's all good now. As long as they don't knock the wood parts down, that's really what I need. The, the rope was really just to guide me to keep me on, on a straight path. But um, but yeah, man, they really grow long uh, first before they grow wide. I had I remember when, uh, when Hercules was about the age, he went to his new home and his, uh, his mom was, was asking, uh, why, uh, you know, why is he so skinny? What can I feed him or, or do to get him, you know, to look like how my other dogs look? And I told her, you know, just uh, give it time. Uh, it'll kick in. You know, it takes, it takes, man, a few months sometimes. I mean, they might not start looking the way you want them to look until nine or ten months sometimes. But I can assure you, um, that blood, it, it definitely kicks in for sure. It definitely 
um, kicks in. So um, now with the micro uh, bullies, the the starfires, the the royals, the piggies, you know, they they hit a, a, I guess a somewhat of a of a minky stage, but they never really. I mean, they the size of these pups now, so they never really got you know too long or lanky. You know, they just at five six months. They were just looking like this, basically, you know, like, like the little 12, 16, you know, weak pups. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish busting out this, uh, this work I got set out for myself today. Um, hopefully, I can get it all done. If not, I'll be back out here tomorrow because I know I only got... Uh, Maybe about another eight hours of sunlight. But, uh, I gotta run to Home Depot once I I want to put out my blueprint first, you know, and, and see exactly what I need before I just go running to the store buying up a bunch of shit, you know. So kind of you know mapping it out. I put it on paper. Now I'm gonna kind of put it, you know, out here in the yard and then. I make that trip uh, to Home Depot and grab. Um, I got some fencing. I don't know if I got enough. I got some posts as well. Not sure if I got enough of those either. Um, but we'll see what I got and we'll get to it. The beauty is there. But we keep it here. And I like to use these instead of the uh, instead of like the wood post that you put down into the ground with the concrete, um, because this, who knows, this could be temporary. So I don't want to put uh, concrete and dig big holes in my dirt when I know, you know, in a little while I might change my mind and switch it up. So okay, guys, uh, my camera girl went in the house on me, so. I'm out here by myself now. Uh, I actually should have some help on the way. My boy Levante, the man of Action Kennels, he just texted me, said he'll be on his way over here in a little bit. So he gonna lend a helping hand. I got this little fence here. I ain't put the fence up yet. I wanted to uh, put my measurements down on this deck. As you guys know, I didn't put this deck up and took it down. Uh, this will be the third time I put it together. I did have it up over here along the porch, uh, but I decided to take it down. I also had it on the other side of the yard when I first, the very first time I put it up, I did a video of that as well. You can check that out on my channel. Um, so yeah, I got my dimensions put in. It's uh, eight feet wide. And uh, six foot long, I got my concrete patio or deck, decking blocks uh, to kind of anchor everything together. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding in uh, these wood boards that I got laying out here. I'm going to go ahead and start lining them up and nailing them down. All right, guys, as you can see, we got hay all throughout the yard now. Got rid of that mud. We got the hay, or straw, I should say. We're going to go ahead and finish uh, building up the deck. I got my boy, the man, the Action Kennels, over here with me. Y'all stay tuned. Check out City Girl. My boy Levante just picked her up today. This is new. 
pick up female he just got. Fire a little micro female. Sit. Check her out, y'all. Nice and short, muscled up, compact female. Look like she's about to come in heat too to me. I guess we'll see. Still, we steady working. Uh, we put a little light up. We got, man, majority of the work done. We just gotta uh, finish out with the fence. And then uh, we can come back and do the, uh, the deck. I don't know if you can see. It got dark, but we got the deck done. When it's daylight outside tomorrow, I'll give you guys a better shot. But man, we've been going. All day, non-stop. You guys stay tuned. All right, man. We moving right along, y'all. It's dark out here, but we got the light. We good to go, guys. We got the first little section put up. My boy Tay, man, he's doing his thing out here, man. He came up with the uh, idea to add the wood in to add some extra stability on the fence. And honestly, I love the way it's turning out. We're going to go ahead and go down the little strip here. Knock this out. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, guys, as you can see, uh, it's light outside again. You can get a better picture of uh, what we did to the yard. So you see we got the gate up. We got the wood uh, surrounding the gate to kind of add more stability. I got uh, the gate in. I um, still got a few minor tweaks I got to do. Still got to... Um, add the latch to the gate and sort of lock all the way in. Uh, when I got an igloo to uh, put on the deck, I want to add another uh, house right there, another igloo. Um, but I only got one for now. I keep looking around, like on the marketplace, Craigslist, um, that sort of thing. I'm doing my, my matters to you out here. Um, they love, they loving this, man. They've been out here for about an hour or so now. Um, and we just, you know, hanging out, kicking it, you know, doing what dogs do. Uh, I'm really happy that they liking this. They've been running around, chasing each other around, uh, playing, you know, all that good stuff. My girl, Miss Piggy, right here, she's uh, officially two weeks in uh, to the old heavy breathing that we did a few weeks back um it's, it's too early to say uh, if she's if she took or not i got my fingers crossed y'all um you know i think if i had to guess i would say she took like i said it's way too early to uh to say um starfire she's starting to swell up looks like she's gonna be coming in the heat anytime soon So, super excited about that. I've been uh, putting everything together, trying to put the final touches on, finding out who I'm going to actually breed her to. Um, I got some feds in mind, um, but it's, that time is coming. Uh, like I say, she's swelling up. She'll be, we'll be seeing blood any day now. Yes. 
to check out Majesty, y'all. This is the mother to the pups that we had back in August. Um, one of my keepers, Mercy. Damn, girl. You're dirty. You need a bath. You're getting a bath today, girl. But yeah, she's a mom to uh, the pups that we, that we had that I've been doing videos of. Look at Miss Royal wobbling around. Yeah, guys, I'm really happy with the way the yard is looking with the hay down. Um, got the fence up, the dog house. Um, like I said, just a few other things I got to do before the uh, project will be complete for now. I didn't get a chance to add the um, the roof in. I, I don't think I'm going to get to that this weekend. But I'm going to wind up turning into another project for another video. Um, maybe next weekend. You, you never know. It depends on how the weather holds up. You know, it's mid-December. But um, yesterday and today, the weather was pretty good to get out here in the yard and do some work. So that's exactly what I did. Wanted to take advantage of that. I knew Roya was, uh, had to use the bathroom. I could tell by the way she was kind of walking around wobbling around like she had to, you know, do her thing. Look at her, man, she just loving the straw. Uh, one thing I don't like, they are uh, eating the straw a little bit. You know, eating a lot of it, but they kind of, you know, putting it in their mouth and eating, eating a little bit. No, I don't, uh, I don't want them to ingest that. Uh, that straw, I'm not sure what it'll do to the stomach, but I'm pretty sure it's not, not good for them, so I definitely don't want them doing that, so um, I think eventually, though, they'll realize uh, that it's not something they should be doing, and then stop. Other than that, though, guys, everything's turning out pretty good. Really like the way the yard's starting to look. Um, they like it, so I love it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video just because I don't want to make it too long. And then once I get back out here and start building up the uh, the roof, then I'll vlog that as well for you guys. I'm Queen City Bullies Aaron. I'm out of here.